The purpose of this video is to help you to create your graphs to represent your data that you've collected. So to start with, I would click on insert. And this is going to be different depending on what version of Microsoft you've got. But most of the um, versions of Microsoft require you to go to the insert tab. And you can see here that we've got a series of different charts. So it doesn't really matter which one for now, just select any one. I'm just going to select a basic 2D column. Now you can see that that's put all of my data into the one graph. Now I don't like that. It doesn't really show me a whole lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the data. We're just going to pick out certain pieces of data for our graph. I'm going to get rid of everything except question one for now. So we'll get rid of question two, question three, question four, and that is good to go. So you can now see that it has selected only a certain part of the data. Um, it's got the numbers for each individual participant and it's also put in the average there of all participants which is about 6.4. So that's probably a better way to represent that piece of data. So that's one graph, we'll put it to the side. Now we want to play around and, and be a bit creative with the, some of the other graphs. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to select a different type of graph this time. This time we might try a 3D. Oh, that's already done with that one. Let's click off that for a sec. So we'll go with the 3D graph. Now again, you can see it's selected all the data. So I want to just select my data. And this time I'm going to get rid of question one. Don't like question two. Um, we might try with question 3B and 3C. So we put our moderate and vigorous uh, intensity exercise together click OK and what you can see now is it's actually put um, the vigorous intensity is represented in the blue and the uh, moderate intensity is represented in the yellow so what it's done is it, it's added those together and quite nicely um, it has added them up which means we can actually see which participants are meeting the National Physical Activity Guidelines so you can see number 10 here is just meeting the guidelines Number five is also meeting the guidelines and participant number two is also meeting the guidelines with participant number one only just missing out on the 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity exercise per day. So it's also put in there the total average, which is um, for all of the people, how much moderate to vigorous physical activity are they doing per day? Now we need to label our chart. Um, so what we can do is add chart element. Um, we can play around with different things here. So um, you can get rid of the titles. You can put titles on the side. So for example, I might want to put in an access title on the side. And I'm just going to call that one participants. And we also might want to put in a horizontal axis. And this is going to be called moderate to vigorous. and it's per day, minutes. Uh, we can play around with different other elements here. Might want to change the legend. Um, you might not want to have a legend at all. Um, with this one, we probably do want to have a legend. You can play around with where it actually goes, maybe on the right hand side, and no, I don't like that. Probably back where it started with, maybe down the bottom. And you've got your legend there, which represents each one um, of the questions in this chart. Now we want to change the chart title as well. And this would be, let's call it uh, moderate to, not and, get rid of that. Moderate to the, moderate. Day. So that can be our chart title. So we're now starting to generate some graphs to represent our data. Um, it's just a nice visual way to show your data and I want you to copy those graphs either into a Word file um, or, or find a way to print them out and bring them into your the um, written component of your SAC. Now uh, question two here, we, we changed, uh, we put that data into a different table just to make it uh, a bit more numerical. So let's have a play around with this. I think a good um, chart to do for this one is going to be a pie chart. So we'll look down the bottom here, we'll do a pie. We might make it a bit fancy. We can do a try with a donut. No, I like the uh, 3D pie chart. Click on that one. And what you can see it's done is it's created 
a graph which now represents the proportion of physical activities that people have done. Um, so our most popular one over here is walking and that's in the grey. The other most popular ones are things like uh, running and jogging, um, tennis, weights, bike riding and spin. So it's quite a nice visual way to represent what are the most popular types of physical activity that the people in my survey group have done. Um, again, you can change your chart title. We'll call it types of physical activity for 13 to 17 year olds. Um, again, copy that into a Word document, bring it into your SAC, and you will be graded on your um, graphs as well as the quality of your data and how you analyze that data. hope this helps you with your, um, your SAC, and also feel free to have a play around with some of the other elements at the top here. Um, you know, you can play around with the other chart elements, etc. Change the colors of your graph, get really fancy with different types of graphs, etc. Good luck.